In this tutorial, we're going to be having a look at how to create a social media style video using the website Canva. So the first thing we need to do is to load the website. Go to www.canva.com. If you haven't already created an account, you can click here to sign up. Sign up using your email address, type in your username, email, and a selected password. Once you're ready, you can click here to log in, enter your details, and click log in. And now you're ready to start creating your video. The first thing to do is to choose what video type you're going to create. If your video is going to be for Instagram, the best one to choose is a Facebook video because that will create a 1080 by 1080 size video. Instead, if you want to create a YouTube video, you can choose the video message. For this example, we're going to create a Facebook video. The first thing you should do is give your video a name. I'm going to call this Facebook video. And now we want to import the logo which we created previously in Adobe Spark. To do that, open your Adobe Spark projects and find the logo that you created and go to download. Importantly, you need to make sure that you download this as a PNG file. Make sure that it is selected and click start download. And very importantly, make sure here you click on Transparent PNG. Exporting this as logo.png, click OK. And your file will have downloaded, ready to be imported into Canva. Now come back to Canva and click on Uploads. Then click on Upload Media. We can now add our logo to our video by clicking on it here. Click on Crop so that we've got just the image selected. And now we can resize it so that it will be appropriate for our video. Position it somewhere so that it's obvious but not obtrusive. And now we've got our logo inserted into our video which is keeping that common theme across our entire social media campaign. The next thing to do is to add a background. What you should be doing is keeping this consistent again with your Instagram posts by selecting the same colour that you use in your Instagram posts. You can modify your colours by clicking up here to add a new colour to your colour palette. Now we want to bring in our same character that we use for our posts. Click on Upload Media. Locate the image of the character that you downloaded previously from Pixabay. Click Open. And once it's downloaded, add your character by clicking on it from over here. And once again we want to remove the background so we've just got our character. Click on our image and this time click over here to edit our image and to remove our background we click on this BG Remover button. Once the background's been removed you can resize the, your character by clicking on the handles on the outside and dragging them, flipping your character if you want it to be facing the opposite direction, click here to go flip then flip horizontal And now we can start adding the message component of our video campaign by clicking on text. Select one of these first options. These will be the plain text which will make it easy to read. Modify the size of your text by grabbing on the handles and scaling it. Change your font colour by clicking up here. 
and to modify what it's actually saying, highlight the words and change it to be part and change this to reflect what it is that you want to try and say in your video. There are some neat effects that you can add to your font to make it stand out. These are accessed up here underneath the effects button. Lift, Glitch or Neon each seem to work well and then you can modify how strong these effects are. You can see the difference now between the two. The effect of lift compared to no effect. We can also add animations to our text by clicking up here. Each of these different effects will change how our text appears on the screen and I would suggest using this sparingly as it can be a little bit overwhelming visually. Now that we have the first scene created for our video, we can use this as the template to duplicate to create each of the future scenes. Hover over the first slide then clicking on the three dots, click on that and go duplicate and then duplicate it one more time. We want our video to start without having these words on the screen. So come back to the first slide here, select our words and simply delete them. Now make this first slide a little bit shorter in length. If we made it say two and a half seconds, that's going to mean our video will start with about two and a half seconds before the first words appear on the screen. We can now use this to duplicate again and position that in between each of our new slides to give time for our viewers to adjust to each new message appearing. So clicking here and going duplicate. Now click and hold this and drag it and position it in between. And if we have a look now you'll see it will start, give us a little bit of time, the first message will appear, give us time to read that. Then another two and a half seconds before the next message appears. In this particular case, I think that second slide is a bit too long. So I'm going to adjust its length. Make it about four seconds. That one two. And so on. So here's our next message. Duplicate our little gap slide again. Duplicate our message slide. And here you can see that by inserting images that include population graphs as well as text, you can start building up the content of your social media message. To test what your video is starting to look like and see if your timings are okay, if you drag this little triangle back to the beginning, you can then click here on play and watch your movie play through. From there, you can see whether you need to adjust any of the timings of any of the slides. This one here, for instance, is much too long, as is this one. Test it again, and let's see what it looks like. Hmm, still too long. Okay, and hopefully you can see from this process how bit by bit you go about duplicating each of the previous slides to use as templates for the creation of each new piece of content for your video. I can see up here that my video is currently 26.2 seconds in length. Once you're happy with the visual content of your video, you can add some music to spice it up a little bit. Make sure you source music that is once again royalty free. There are a huge range of different online sites that you can source royalty free music from, one of those being soundcloud.com. Find some music that fits the theme of your video. 
download the file that you want to use. Now you need to upload the file that you've just sourced from the internet. So return to your project, click on uploads, click on audio, then upload media, find the file that you just downloaded and click open. And once your file's finished uploading, it's important to make sure that you've got your timer back at the start of your video. So drag this triangle back to the beginning, then select your music and drag it over, and that will insert the soundtrack down the bottom of your video. Let's give it a test to see. And as you can see, what happens is the music will finish at the end of where our last slide finishes. So all we need to do is continue creating the rest of our content by duplicating our pages and modifying the written and visual content on each of the pages to complete our social media campaign. Once we're ready and we've finished our video, up here we can click on download. Our video will default to being downloaded as an mp4 file, so leave it as that and click on download. The process will begin. And once it's ready to save, click on OK. And our file will be downloaded ready. You can now open your finished video from the downloads folder to test it out and see what it looks like. And if you're happy with the content, you can upload it to your social media site of preference. In this particular case, I would upload this to Instagram or to Facebook.